in League One. Preston and Swindon kick off at three o'clock. And fresh from his deadline day heroics at Stoke, Peter Stevenson is at Deepdale for us this afternoon. Peter, great to see you. What's your team news for us? Good afternoon, Jim. It's a decent day at Deepdale for two teams. You suspect uh, we'll have a real test of focus here this afternoon. Terrific cup wins in midweek. Uh, Swindon winning against Stoke. Preston beating Crystal Palace. Both teams incidentally scoring four goals. But today, it's all about League One. Uh, Preston haven't won in League One yet so far this season. They'd love to get that here today. Swindon know that Tramme and Yeovil have already gone to ten points at the top of League One. So a win today would take uh, Swindon Town also into double figures. So uh, plenty at stake here this afternoon. In terms of the team news, Torsten Stuckman, Shane Cansdell Sheriff, both come back into the Preston lineup. And there's a debut for Stuart Bevan, signed on Friday before the deadline from Wickham. Graham Wesley's 18th signing, would you believe, of the summer. 26 goals last season for Wickham, so great things expected of him. One change for Swindon, Luke Rooney coming in, but they've got three new faces on their bench. Federico Bassoni. Darren Ward and John Bostock all waiting for a chance to impress their manager. It's uh, their first game since 1986 between these two sides. And in the technical area, of course, it's, uh, it's um, the uh, De Canio against Wesley showdown. So if the game is poor, I'm sure there'll be plenty of entertainment on the touchline. Kick-off here, 3 o'clock. Now in League One, Swindon, the visitors this afternoon to Preston North End. Peter Stevenson is at Deepdale for us this afternoon. Peter, what can you tell me? Jim, we've had exactly 10 seconds of play, so as you can appreciate, not an awful lot going on on the pitch, but a terrific match in prospect, both in really good form in midweek to uh, perform giant killing acts in the League Cup, both scoring four goals. So uh, Di Canio, Swindon hoping to join Swindon and Tram uh, sorry, join Tramier and Yeovil at the top of League One on 10 points. Preston really need to get their first win uh, under the... Uh, leadership of Graham Wesley this season in the league under their belt so uh, a great match in prospect Stuart Bevan making his debut uh, since his signing from Wickham on Friday night for North End so great things expected of him we'll keep you updated throughout the afternoon uh, let's get now to the uh, games that have kicked off now and uh, there's been a goal in the league one match between Preston and Swindon Peter Stevenson who's got this one yeah, terrific start for the uh, home side. One of those routine uh, clearances downfield that you expect the uh, goalkeeper just to pump straight back upfield, but his clearance was charged, the swinging down goalkeeper, his clearance was charged down by a Preston striker, and it fell lovingly to uh, Agpo Sodji right on the edge of the box. Uh, he had the goalkeeper and defence all over the place, took his time, lovely compose, finished, rammed the ball into the back of the net from the edge of the box. A Preston lead here, 1-0. Thank you, Peter. Now, another goal in the League One game between Preston and Swindon and Peter Stevenson is at Deepdale for us. Peter, good afternoon once again. What can you tell us? Yeah, good afternoon. It's getting even better for Preston North End. They took that early lead inside five minutes. They've just doubled it with a lovely move uh, on his debut. Stuart Bevan doing well in the middle of the park, spraying the ball out to his fullback, who instead of hanging on to it, just drove it in immediately first time, caught the Swindon defence totally unaware. And Nicky Rowe, the Preston captain, lovely deft flick on the near post. Keeper, no chance. 2 0. Swindon already warming up their subs. It's League One, Swindon. Visitors this very afternoon to Preston North End. Peter Stevenson is at Deepdale for us. Peter, what can you tell us? Well, I've got an intriguing question for you, Jim. If you're 2-0 down inside 12 minutes, what do you do as a manager? Paolo Di Canio decides, I'll change my goalkeeper. Uh, not impressed with the way that uh, Wes Fodderingham has been performing inside the first 20 minutes, so he made the switch. He's brought on Lee Bedwell. Fair to say there were some strong words from the Swindon manager as his keeper came across to the uh, technical area. Keeper, none too impressed either. Kicked the water bottle onto the pitch, much to the amusement of the Preston North End fans. They'll be delighted with the way their team has started this game and they remain 2-0 up. In game going on in League One because Swindon are the visitors to press and Peter Stevenson was telling us earlier on at Deepdale about a change of goalkeeper. Peter, what can you tell us now? 
It hasn't worked, Jim. They're 3-0 down now. Paolo Di Canio just below me on the touchline, his hands on his hips, shaking his head in disbelief. The third goal coming, long ball to the back stick, not back into the penalty area. And Stuart Bevan, who's been terrific on his debut for North End, easy chance from six yards out. Goalkeeper, absolutely no chance. I wouldn't want to be in the Swindon dressing room at half-time. We're into added time now. Preston lead, 3-0. One Preston leads Swindon right now by three goals to nil. And Preston took the lead in the fifth minute. Wes Fotheringham's goal kick blocked by Stuart Bevan. And that left Akpo Sodja to fire in. And then Scott Laird set up Nicky Rowe for the second goal. Just five minutes later, Swindon were down. And virtually out when Bevan headed in just before the break to make it 3-0. What a disastrous first 45 minutes for Swindon. Now they're into the second half. And my good friend and colleague Peter Stevenson has the very latest for us now. Peter. Well, Swindon was sent out early by Paolo Di Canio after their half-time break. I suspect there was a little ticking off for his uh, first team because they were pretty woeful in that first half. They have been better in the first six minutes of the second half. Rafael De Vita down the left-hand side. Really good chance inside the first minute. Great save by Torsten Stuckman, the Preston goalkeeper. They've made one change of Swindon. They've brought on John Bostock down the right-hand side. A little bit more attacking threat. They've just clipped the top of the North End bar as well. If they can get a goal in, well, it could could start a, a decent revival, but at the moment it's still Preston very much on top. Swindon just can't seem to handle their, their commitment, their pace and their movement, and it remains 3-0. Uh, let's get an update from the League One match between uh, Preston and Swindon. Peter Stevenson. Yeah, the sunshine is out here, and Mr De Canio looks a little happier. His team have a foothold in the game. They scored just a couple of minutes ago. Rafael De Vita, by far Swindon's most dangerous-looking player this afternoon. He missed a really good chance in the first minute of the half, but no mistake this time, cutting in from that left-hand side and a good low shot into the Preston net. So it's 3-1. Interesting game on now. And what about the League One game between Preston and Swindon? Peter Stevenson. Perfect timing because Preston have just gone 4-1 in front. Can't just make out the goal scorer at the moment until he turns his back. But uh, a lovely shot, 30 yards out, driven through a whole ruck of players. And the uh, Swindon goalkeeper, their second goalkeeper they've used this afternoon, absolutely no chance. Just before that, Agpo Soji missing a uh, classic chance. Just waiting for the goal scorer. Number 19... John Welsh, the man credited with a goal. Lovely finish. I've also got to tell you that uh, Paolo Di Canio a couple of minutes ago had to be restrained by the fourth official. Somebody said something behind him from the crowd and uh, he looked to hell bent on going onto the terracing for a word with whoever it was. Had to be restrained. Uh, he'll not be happy now. His side trail here 4 1. Wow. Stay out of the way of him, for goodness sake. League One, Preston beat Swindon. Let's go live now to Peter Stevenson and get the story of this. Peter's at Deepdale. Peter, good afternoon. What was this one like? Good afternoon, Jim. It's a beautiful evening in Lancashire, especially if you're a Preston fan. They scored four in the Cup in midweek against Palace. They've done that again here today. Four in the league against Swindon, who just simply couldn't cope with Preston's pace and power. Three up by half-time. Agpo Soji, Nicky Rowe and Stuart Bevan on his debut, uh, putting uh, Preston in command. Swindon so bad, Di Canio so disappointed he changed his goalkeeper after 20 minutes. Angry scenes between the pair on the touchline as the first choice keeper made his way back to the dressing room and kicked the water bottle onto the pitch. Swindon were a little better after the break, got back into the game with uh, Rafael De Vita. Nice crisp finish on the far side past the Preston keeper into the corner of the net, but uh, Preston never really looked threatened. John Welsh rammed in the fourth from 30 yards out just to emphasise their superiority. Graham Wesley will be delighted. His side have their first win of the league campaign. Now to incredible scenes from the game between Preston and Swindon where Paolo Di Canio substituted his goalkeeper for tactical reasons after just 20 minutes. Well, 21-year-old keeper Wes Fodringham was clearly to blame for Preston's first goal. It was a, a bad mistake, but still a good finish from Akpo Sodje. Five minutes later, and Swindon conceded another. Nicky Rowe, the scorer this time. 
Well, De Canio, well, he thought he'd seen enough, decided to replace Fotheringham with Lee Bedwell in the 21st minute. The Italian clearly upset with his player. And it's uh, fair to say Fotheringham wasn't impressed either. Well, Preston ended up scoring two more goals to end Swindon's unbeaten run in League One. Afterwards, De Canio defended his decision to replace Fotheringham so early in the game. There is no, nothing wrong to change and a goalkeeper, especially if we don't talk about Czech. No? Have you, have We're talking you, about Wes, 20-year-old. Last year, he didn't play even one second football, professional football. And just when he met me, we gave him the opportunity to play a professional football. What did you make of his reaction when he came off and kicked the bottle? He didn't look very happy. Ah, uh, if he wasn't happy, uh, we were uh, fuming. We were absolutely... Uh, I don't know what expression to use, but uh, it's obvious that if he doesn't say sorry to everybody, he's out. Uh, he's out. So he's he out. has to apologise? or is No, or but he... I, have to, I have to come from his heart. Uh, you have to really believe, because you have to convince the people that he make and apologise. Otherwise, he's out. In my regime, uh, we work in this way. He made a very bad performance with Stoke, the only player he played bad, but just because we won for three, we covered the situation. And now he, he did what he did today and go out in this manner because he's untouchable. That is uh, mad. League One, League One West, 20 year old. Are we crazy? Crazy, crazy. Well, it's uh, not the first time De Canio has fallen out with one of his Swindon players. <laughs> Last September, he had an altercation with new signing Leon Clark following their League Cup defeat to Southampton. Clark spent the rest of the season on loan to Chesterfield before finally moving to Charlton. He didn't enjoy being substituted when he was a player either. He was taken off by manager Glenn Roder when playing for West Ham away at West Brom. We'll be live at Swindon later this lunchtime to get more reaction to the latest De Canio play around. Swindon, unbeaten in the league, went to Deepdale high on confidence after a midweek win over Stoke in the League Cup. Preston too had cup success after their demolition of championship side Crystal Palace and it was the home side who got off to a perfect start. 21-year-old Wes Ferdingham in the Swindon goal had a game to forget. After only five minutes, his clearance was charged down. That left Akpo Soje to fire in. It was the striker's third goal in as many games for the Lancashire side. A purring Preston doubled their lead five minutes later. Stuart Beaven, who signed for Wickham on transfer deadline day, set up Scott Laird, who crossed the captain, Nicky Rowe, to tap in his fourth goal of the season. The Robins were clearly stunned. They could have made an early redemption. Luke Rooney with the cross, but James Collins headed narrowly over. The Swindon manager Paolo Di Canio had seen enough and responded by taking Ferdingham off after just 21 minutes. The keeper was replaced by 18-year-old Lee Bedwell. Ferdingham was clearly frustrated. Afterwards, Di Canio said the player was arrogant and asked him to apologise to the team if he wants to play for the club again. But the substitution made little impact. Bailey Wright headed down a corner for Stuart Beaven to score his first goal for the club, to the obvious delight of his teammates. 3-0, half-time. Di Canio's half-time team talk appeared to pay dividends. After a lovely flowing move down the right, Raffaele De Vita picked the ball up on the edge of the area and drove a low finish beyond the reach of Torsten Stuckman in the Preston goal. It was De Vita's second goal of the season. If anything, the goal rejuvenated Preston, who pushed for a fourth. Soje almost doubled his tally but headed agonisingly wide. 
but they didn't have to wait long with just over 20 minutes to go. John Welsh capitalised from a poor clearance from Andy Williams to fire home a deflected shot past a helpless Bedwell. 4-1 was how it finished, Swindon's first defeat of the season which pushed the Lillywhites up to 12th in the table. very much Orla. Now to incredible scenes from the game between Preston and Swindon where Paolo Di Canio substituted his goalkeeper for tactical reasons after just 20 minutes. Wes Fodderingham was clearly to blame for Preston's first goal. It was a bad mistake but still a good finish from Akpo Soji. Five minutes later Swindon conceded another Icky Rowe, the scorer this time. Well, Decanio had seen enough and decided to replace Fodderingham with Lee Bedwell in the 21st minute. The Italian clearly upset with his player. Fair to say, likewise, Fodderingham wasn't impressed either. Oh, well, Preston ended up scoring two more goals. Afterwards, Decanio defended his decision to replace Fodderingham so early in the game. There is no, nothing wrong to change and a goalkeeper, especially if we don't talk about Czech. No? Have you, have We're talking you, about Wes, 20-year-old. Last year, he didn't play even one second football, professional football. And just when he met me, we gave him the opportunity to play a professional football. What did you make of his reaction when he came off and kicked the bottle? He didn't look very happy. Ah, uh, if he wasn't happy... Uh, we were uh, fuming. We were absolutely... I don't know what expression to use, but uh, it's obvious that if he doesn't say sorry to everybody, he's out. Uh, he's out. So he's he out. has to apologise? or is No, or but I have, to, I have to come from his heart. Uh, you have to really believe because you have to convince the people that he may apologise. Otherwise, he's out. In my regime, uh, we work in this way. He made a very bad performance with Stoke, the only play he played bad, but just because we won 4-3, we covered the situation. And now he, he did what he did today, and go out in this manner because he's untouchable. That is uh, mad. League One, League One West, 20-year-old. Are we crazy? Mm -hmm. It's 21, was loaned to Swindon from Crystal Palace last season before signing permanently. This summer, he's played 47 matches for Swindon, keeping 28 clean sheets. He set a club record of 12 consecutive clean sheets at home, and he played three times for England under 19s. There is no nothing wrong to change and a goalkeeper, especially if we don't talking about Czech. No, have you, have we're you, talking about Wes, 20-year-old. Last year, he didn't play even one second football, professional football, and just when he met me, we gave him the opportunity to play a professional football. <laughs> What did you make of his reaction when he came off and kicked the bottle? He didn't look very happy. Ah, uh, if he wasn't happy, uh, we were uh, fuming. We were absolutely... I don't know what expression to use, but uh, it's obvious that if he doesn't say sorry to everybody, he's out. Uh, he's out. So he's he out. has to apologise? or is No, or but I have, to, I have to come from his heart. Uh, you have to really believe because you have to convince the people that he may apologise, otherwise he's out. In my regime, uh, we work in this way. He made a very bad performance with Stoke, the only player he played bad, but just because we won 4-3, we covered the situation. And now he, he did what he did today, and go out in this manner because he's untouchable. That is uh, mad. League One, League One West, 20 year old. Are we crazy? You know what? Every time there is in a situation where we want to go through the normal rules, which are discipline, respect, and someone that they don't respect have to be punished in some way. He said, well, why? No, you have to learn. Why this, that, what? If he send out uh, when uh, I want to ask uh, the, the season ticket, the money back, come to the county ground, I give you the money back. But don't come to the county ground. Go to Oxford, watch the game, not to Swindon, because we don't need this kind of supporters. Eh? Too much chocolate, we are 
a team from League 2 to League 1. Seven points, three points from the top, two third round beating, and they speak after the first problem, where the manager behaved in a normal way, and yesterday once again, like a week card, with Leon Clark, I behave a fantastic manager, not a manager to learn, a manager to stay already at this level, because I was calm for my character, with that 20 years of age, they kick the bottle everywhere, and then have but the soups already improved my quality. Also in, the, in under the situation with Leon Clark, where Ferguson would kick him, would fight him, he didn't do this. With all respect for Ferguson, you know what's happened with Beckham? He was fantastic. I don't forget that Mourinho at Chelsea, not as Windon Town, I have to rem remember and remind the fans, it's Windon Town League One, not Champions League. League One, the first year after two years, League One, not Champions League. Mourinho, after 20 minutes, subs two players one day. Everybody say, fantastic manager, I don't want to imitate Mourinho. But he got his reason. One of those was uh, Carvalho that he brought in. He has his reason why he changed. At the top level, not West in League One. With all respect for West, because he's my player, he did fantastic until yesterday, before the game. And I'm sure that he will do a fantastic job in the future. But for the reaction. Sooner or later, probably more soon than later, come, you will have a different manager. Now, the Swindon Town manager, Paolo Di Canio, is known for his passion, but this weekend he took his post-match outburst to a new level. After yesterday's defeat at Preston, he swore and demanded his goalkeeper make a public apology for his reaction to being substituted or never play for the club again. Well, this afternoon that apology was forthcoming, but the Swindon boss has warned that sort of behaviour won't go unpunished. Today it was still far from sweetness and light. Paolo Di Canio had got the apology he demanded from his goalkeeper, but warned that Fodderingham or any other player won't get off lightly for such behaviour. It's clear that if it happens again, the same player is out for the rest of my manager career in here or somewhere, because once it can happen, because I know I was a footballer, I can understand, and because I know, I know him exactly because he's a genuine guy, is a strong character in some way, a bit arrogant, he knows this, I was more arrogant than him in the past in my life, can happen, it's a part of your character, but, but there are rules you have to respect. It all started just five minutes into yesterday's game, a back pass, hesitation, a blocked clearance and a well-struck goal, and Di Canio was incensed. When a second went in after just ten minutes, as the Preston fans celebrated, Di Canio was fuming, and ten minutes after that, he made his move. He substituted Fodderingham and sent on teenager Lee Bedwell. Fodderingham in turn was incensed and shouted at the manager as a water bottle took the full force of his fury. After the match, which ended in a 4-1 defeat for Swindon, De Canio accused his goalkeeper of arrogance and ignorance. So back down to earth for Swindon, this defeat overshadowed last week's victory over Stoke in the Capital One Cup. Now they face their fiercest rivals, Oxford, in the Johnstons Paint Trophy on Wednesday. And despite the goalkeeper's apology, they'll need all the harmony and united team spirit the manager can muster. So that's Swindon at Oxford on Wednesday and tomorrow. It's Bristol Rovers at home to Yeovil Town, who of course have made such a strong start to the season. An extraordinary row between Swindon manager Paolo Di Canio and his own goalkeeper, Wes Fotheringham reacted angrily to being substituted during the first half of Swindon's defeat of Preston. But Di Canio has revealed that he has now apologised. Well, Di Canio brought off Fotheringham after 21 minutes after his mistake led to Akpo Sajjah's opener. The keeper and Di Canio exchanged words before Fotheringham kicked a water bottle, then watched the rest of the game from the stands. Well, Fotheringham conceded only 14 goals last season and has not conceded at home since February. Despite that, Di Canio is adamant he was correct to substitute him and says he will be fined. We move on. It's obvious that um, it's clear that uh, if it happens again, uh, the same player is out for the rest of my manager career in here or somewhere. I know some reactions, somebody told me. Someone upon the finger the substitution. But are we mad? Are you mad as Windon? Are the fans mad as Windon? 
I know that someone, uh, I, I reaction was, uh, but he was a clean sheet for 20. And so, Richie was the best player of the year last year. It can be so. Are you mad, this window? Are the fans mad that under my regime we won the league in the way we did? Somebody has to think if they're mad or looking at me and say, are we mad? Are we mad? We judge the substitution, not what, at 20 years of age? So stop this stupid situation, don't be silly. And then I heard someone told me, they say, there is someone that if you will be tough with Wes, they want to have the refund for then season ticket. Come to the county ground. I pay to you the season ticket back. Leave the county ground until we'll be here. And then when I leave this club, buy again the season ticket. I have to rem remember and remind the fans, it's so win on Town League One, not Champions League. League One, the first year after two years. League One, not Champions League. Mourinho, after 20 minutes, subs two players one day. Everybody say, fantastic manager. I don't want to imitate Mourinho. But he got his reason. One of those was uh, Carvalho that he brought in. He has his reason why he changed. At the top level, not West in League One.